I have a friend who just got back into collecting records and he asked me, what are the essentials? What does he really need to buy? Aside from the obvious stuff like a turntable and something to play it through. I told him there are two basic things that he needs. Channel 33. RPM. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. So I said two things. It's technically four things, but I'm lumping this into two categories. So I'm going to say two things. The first thing anyone getting into collecting records and spinning records needs according to me, in my opinion, is a good record cleaning brush. And why is that? You may ask. Well, oftentimes, it's so easy for little dust and debris and gunk to get stuck in the grooves of your records. When that happens, it really contributes to the snap, crackle, and pop so often associated with records, right? The surface noise. It's not the sole cause of it, but it is a main or a significant contributor. Now, I know a lot of people claim to love that snap, crackle, and pop. Personally, I hate it, and I will do anything in my in my powers and my ability to minimize that, that sort of surface noise. And the other thing, too, is, of course, you get a used record, you should clean it. But the other thing is, um, new records, a lot of people don't realize this, even new records, you should give them a clean before you listen to them. A lot of those same, you know, the dust and the paper particles and whatnot, they can also get put on the grooves of your record at the record pressing plant. Your records are not cleaned before they're inserted in a package, so anything on there is going to stay on there. Personally, I clean every record I get new or used, and of course, the records I have in my collection, I give them a quick, a really quick clean each and every time I listen to them. Is that overboard? I don't know. Maybe it is, but you should at least clean your records lightly. Give them a light clean every few listens, okay? So we've established the fact you should clean your records. You need a good record cleaning brush. If you're just getting started, there are a lot of options, but before I get to that, I should say it's actually a combo thing, right? Like you should get a good record cleaning brush and a good record cleaning fluid to go along with it. The brush on its own is not is, is not good enough. You need a good record cleaning fluid. So most record stores sell these record cleaning com kit combos for like 20 or 30 bucks. And for that, you'll get a brush and you'll get a record cleaning fluid. And it's, it's probably going to do the job. I mean, there's a lot of brand names out there. There's Von style there's big fudge these are all really popular i haven't tried them so i'm not going to say if they're good or bad my favorite my personal favorite modern record cleaning brush is the groove washer for 40 bucks 40 bucks us you can get the groove washer brush and you get the groove washer g2 record cleaning fluid this is a real wood handle and this is a really good material here this is what you got to look for when buying a record cleaning brush make sure the material is soft non-abrasive but it's also you know able to really get into the grooves of your record and penetrate those grooves and that's essential again for minimizing that snap crackle and pop. All right, so you got a good record cleaning brush. You're getting into collecting records. What is the second thing you need? Well, I will tell you that is a stylus cleaner, uh, a stylus cleaning brush and stylus cleaning fluids. So again, it's actually two things. And what is a stylus? A stylus is another word for your turn table needle. It's really this fine little diamond tip thing, right? That just tracks the fine grooves on your record. And when your needle does that, it just picks up whatever is in those grooves. I mean, even the cleanest record, maybe, whatever, the average record, it's gonna have gunk in there. That's gonna get stuck on your stylus. And believe me when I say this, that can really affect your record listening experience. I've, I've been spinning records here before and all of a sudden the sound gets all distorted. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I look at my needle, it's got a little bit of dust on it. So my bad, I wasn't paying enough attention. So my record wasn't clean enough. So, okay, make sure your record's clean. But beyond that, make sure your stylus is clean. And there are so many options. Um, I'll show you some of the ones I use. I mean, Groove Washer, we talked about them. They make a good stylus cleaning brush and fluid. I mean, I think it's under 20 bucks for this. If you get one of these brushes, though, be very careful. I mean, your stylus is such a delicate object. So if you do not push it this way, it's going to push back your needle and it's going to break it. You go like this, you put a little bit of fluid on here. Hold it underneath your needle and you pull out. And do it a couple times and that's all you need. 
Um, I got some other ones here. I got this Groovy Stylus Cleaner. They all work in kind of the same way. This one, uh, Groovy, was uh, made by Bags Unlimited. I got a couple of brushes in here. I mean, they're all the same kind of thing, right? And here's the fluid from Bags Unlimited. Same sort of thing, couple drops under your stylus, pull it that way, but again, very carefully. Before I forget, back to my first point, the record cleaning brush. If you're just getting into this, avoid these carbon fiber um, brushes at first. If you're getting into this, if you're a newbie to the hobby, you, can, you are probably gonna be disappointed by the performance of these. You can get these later. I'll talk about these in another video. Again, get the ones with the fabric. Beyond that, I mean, the rest is the icing on the cake, right? I mean, this hobby is a rabbit hole. There's tons of stuff you could get. But if you ask me, after I got the brush and after I got the stylus cleaner, the next thing I would buy would probably be really good quality inner sleeves for my records, right? That's gonna do a couple things. If you get the polylined anti-static sleeves, it's gonna help control the static on your records because the static also contributes to that snap, crackle, and pop. It's also gonna be very non-abrasive, right? Your record's not gonna get damaged sliding it in. So inner sleeves are important. Outer sleeves are important, right? Like the sleeves you put outside, like the sleeves you slide your records into. That's going to protect your investment. That's going to protect the artwork. That's going to protect the album jacket. After that, I would probably invest in a good record cleaning system capable of doing deep cleans, right? Like these brushes are good, but this is, this is only going to do a surface clean. This is only going to get the dust off the surface of your record. A lot of times records have a lot more grime and dirt in them. So you need something to really clean those. There are a lot of options. I mean, you can spend thousands of dollars on a record cleaning machine. The most basic one that I recommend is the Spin Clean. So it's under a hundred bucks and it does a good job of, you know, getting into the grooves and getting your records nice and clean. And again, beyond that, it's a rabbit hole. You can get all sorts of different things for cleaning your stylus. You can get like the Onzao Zero Dust. You can get like this uh, Zero Stat gun for shooting static off your records. You can go as far down down this rabbit hole as you choose but again just getting into it you got a record player you got something to play your record player through the basics get a good record cleaning brush and a good stylus cleaner all right 33 is those are my thoughts what do you think what are the bare essentials what are the two accessories any new record collector should get let me know in the comments below if you dug today's episode i would appreciate a quick thumbs up other than that, until next time, dear 33ers, keep on spinning.